From littering the room with unmentionables to literally dying in there, there's plenty hotel housekeepers don't appreciate. So if you want to be a better guest while saving yourself embarrassment, remember these things hotel housekeepers hate. Hotels are strange places. Yes, you're paying to feel like you're at home, but you're not. So even though your room is designed to feel like a home away from home, the housekeeping staff will visit your room each day if you don't place the do not disturb sign on the door. So please watch where you leave your underwear. The hotel staff is already cleaning up behind you. There's no reason to make it weird. If you value your privacy and want to be considerate of the staff, then consider placing your underwear and other sensitive items in your luggage and out of sight. Guests who are somewhat tidy are typically helpful enough. The housekeeping staff may clean a dozen or more rooms per day, so a few more manageable rooms per shift can really ease the staff's workload. But sometimes, being helpful causes problems. For instance, you shouldn't make the bed when checking out. By doing so, especially if you do a good job, the staff may assume you didn't stay in the room, and they may not change the sheets. If you want to help, it's better to simply pile your sheets on the ground. And the same goes for towels. If your linens are placed on the ground, there's no ambiguity about their cleanliness. We've all probably been guilty of this, but there's no reason to be rude when the housekeeping staff knocks on our door. Housekeeping! Housekeeping! If guests didn't put out the do not disturb sign, then housekeeping is doing exactly what they're hired to do. Get inside the room and clean it. So if you did forget your sign, simply apologize and place your sign on the doorknob after speaking with housekeeping. Please go away, let me sleep for the love of God! And while there's no reason to be shy about wanting one's room cleaned, there's typically no reason to have your room cleaned daily. If you were at home, would you change your sheets every night or use your towels only once? The largest water and energy consumption of the hotel is used for washing linens. If you want to be a more sustainable and eco-friendly traveler, skipping a few days of housekeeping can significantly reduce your carbon footprint, as well as the workload of an often overworked staff. In the U.S., the service industry is kept afloat by tipping culture, and tipping hotel housekeeping is no different. While perhaps not always true, many housekeepers make minimum wage. Leaving just a dollar or two per day is much appreciated. Or if you'd prefer, a larger tip upon checkout that takes into account each day of your stay also works. While you may think tipping the housekeeping staff is a cultural norm, housekeepers say it's actually pretty rare. They would never explain this to guests directly, but tips can greatly improve livelihoods. And let's be real, leaving a few bucks is warranted in terms of the hard work performed. Along with tips, housekeepers say they appreciate unopened drinks and snacks left in the fridge. One housekeeper told Business Insider, We work hard, and especially in hot areas, there's nothing better than finding a cold drink or ice cream during your shift. And there's plenty more where that came from. Asking for a late checkout might appear to be a harmless request. After all, what's an extra hour or two? However, the ripple effect can be significant. The housekeeping department operates on a carefully planned schedule framed by the hotel's check-in and check-out times, and each housekeeper has a set number of rooms they have to clean during their shift. A late checkout can push the cleaning time, resulting in the next guest having to wait or even being moved to a different room type. Not right now. Checkout was two hours ago, so it's really not your call. Housekeepers understand the occasional late checkout, but checkouts without prior notice or not adhering to agreed-upon extensions can be a problem. Speaking to Mamma Mia, one housekeeper explained, Often our hotel was fully booked with a high turnover rate. This means we had to get the guests out, clean the rooms, and get completely new guests in before 2 p.m. So inform the hotel as soon as you know you'll need a late checkout. This gives them time to adjust their schedules or make other arrangements. And if the hotel tells you late checkout isn't feasible due to high occupancy or other reasons, try to understand and make alternate plans. If you're worried about your luggage, most hotels would be happy to store it for you. One of the most distressing scenes for hotel housekeepers is when they open a room to find a literal dump. We're not just talking about a towel on the floor or an unmade bed. These are expected. The issue arises when rooms resemble the morning after a frat party. Leftover food containers littering tables and floors, piles of dirty laundry everywhere, and drinks or food spilled on the carpets or bed sheets. Ugh, people are disgusting. Cleaning a room post-checkout is not easy. Housekeepers have a checklist of up to 100 inspection points, not just for your room, but for 13 to 15 rooms a day, sometimes up to 30. When you leave a hot mess behind, it takes much longer, throwing off their schedule for the entire day. Beyond just the extra cleaning, spilled food and drinks can stain carpets, requiring deep cleaning or even replacement. 
This not only hikes up the hotel's expenses, but also means the room might be out of service for a longer time, affecting other guests. Consider it this way, leaving your hotel room in a reasonably tidy state is a silent thank you note to the unsung heroes who work hard to make your stay comfortable. Hotels are hotels, and whether you're on a honeymoon or entertaining another guest, the housekeeping staff will know. In an interview with Reader's Digest, Anais Lucia, a former housekeeper and current travel vlogger, says a messy bed with sheets strewn all about is a pretty dead giveaway, as well as finding certain hairs on the sheets and gross condom wrappers. Please throw those away. This type of scenario is baked into the hotel housekeeping gig, but there's a level of etiquette to these things. A romp's a romp, a vacation's a vacation, love's love, bodies in motion, and so on. But when it comes to this level of intimacy, try to empathize with the staff and don't leave a biohazard. You see that? This black light shows up bodily fluids. Hygiene and safety for all involved should be at the forefront of our morning minds. A four-star resort isn't always immaculate, while the quirk and charm of a two-star motel may make for a fantastic stay. In the US, the hotel star rating system is managed by the industry itself. In other words, there are no ironclad standards. With that said, star ratings can reflect cleanliness. In an interview with Trivago, a housekeeper working at a five-star hotel in Orlando revealed, "...where I work now, bedding and pillows are replaced at every checkout. However, before, when I used to work at a budget hotel, we rarely changed them. Even when there were sweat stains or marks on the pillow, we would just cover it with a new case." We want to avoid generalizations, but cleanliness is a major consideration when it comes to star rating estimations, just like the hotel's location, amenities, and overall quality of the accommodations. If nothing else, consider the star rating to manage expectations. Your two-star hotel room may be eat dinner off the floor clean, but you'll need to be realistic if traveling on a budget. One thing that's easy to do as a considerate hotel guest is to take your stuff off the bed. There are a few unspoken policies that housekeepers adhere to. These include trying their best to not touch your belongings. If a guest loses something valuable, they may point a finger at the staff. To avoid this, housekeeping tries its very best to not touch your property. While your bathroom will usually always be sanitized, the room vacuumed and surfaces wiped down, your bed is the crown jewel of room cleaning proof, so it will always be made. You see the problem. So if you can remember, help out the housekeeping staff by putting your stuff somewhere else. Housekeeping hates it when you put them in a cleaning quandary. Maybe you've seen that episode of Friends where Ross and Chandler decide to get the most out of their $600 a night hotel stay by taking everything they can from the room. Well, you can't do that. Believe it or not, taking items from a hotel room or housekeeping cart is stealing. Whether it's a plush pillow, a TV remote, or fancy Nespresso coffee maker, these items belong to the hotel and should remain there. Just buy a souvenir instead. What'd you get? USA Today. Nice. Put it with the others. The only things you're allowed to take home with you are complimentary toiletries, slippers in plastic packaging, stationery, tea, coffee, milk, sugar, and disposable bags. Everything else must stay put, from the mattress – yes, people have stolen those – to the salt and pepper shakers. Hair dryer – no, no, no. But shampoos and conditioners – oh, yes, yes, yes. And swiping items from the housekeeping cart is also a no-no. If you're walking down the hall and see an unattended cart with some minibar goodies or toiletries, it's not an invitation for you to take them. It affects the hotel's inventory and creates extra work for the housekeeper, who must now account for and replace missing items. If you're not sure what you can take, ask. Staying in a room where a previous guest died is something we'd rather not think about, but it happens more than we realize, and cleaning crews are stuck handling the aftermath. Obviously, depending on the specific incident, more specialized cleaners may be called in, but the hotel's housekeeping staff still performs the bulk of the work. I am coming up there right this minute, and if there is not that body in that room by the time I get up there, I'm gonna make one! When a death occurs in a hotel room, normal protocol includes removing any stains and sanitizing the room with industrial strength cleaners. That's about it. Depending on the city, country, and specific circumstances, a quarantine period may be required, but there are plenty of stories of hotels trying to make the room available as soon as possible. Housekeepers are strictly forbidden from talking about someone dying on their watch, and you'd probably never know if someone permanently checked out before your arrival. Needless to say, housekeepers hate it when you die. Housekeepers have horror stories of sinks and tubs stained with hair dye, hair scattered all over the floor after a little or not-so-little trim, 
and nail clippings on countertops. Please leave Edward Scissorhands at home. Hair dye in a hotel bathroom is a recipe for disaster. As one Hampton Inn housekeeper explained to Business Insider, please don't dye your hair at the hotel. It takes an hour to bleach the tub and more magic erasers than I'd like to admit. And if you wear makeup, please don't use a hotel towel to take it off. It will most likely be thrown out when you're done. Simply put, if you wouldn't do it in your own bathroom, think twice before doing it in a hotel. If you need a glow up, ask the concierge to help you book a cut or color appointment at a local salon. Don't let your bad hair day make the housekeeper tear out theirs. For many travelers, hotels are temporary stops, places to rest and refresh. But for housekeepers, hotels are their workplaces. They come in daily, prepared to offer guests a comfortable experience. And the way guests interact with them can significantly affect their daily life. Housekeepers, like all of us, appreciate simple gestures of kindness and respect. A friendly nod, a thank you, or a tip can make their day. On the other hand, ignoring their presence, speaking rudely, or treating them as inferior can be demoralizing. You know, I've often wondered what had happened to that old porter if somebody jumped on him from here. So if you're in the room when housekeeping arrives, either vacate the room or make it easy for them to work. Lingering in bed, blasting the TV, or otherwise getting in the way is inconsiderate. And though it shouldn't need to be said, in an interview with Woman's Day, Brigida, a housekeeper with 19 years experience, laid it out, saying, Some people answer the door naked. Please, don't do that.